Hey guys, welcome to Rihanna's Lens, where I interact with you about the components in the STEM field and introduce you to fascinating people who passionately inhabit the scientific and technical frontiers of our society. My name is Rihanna Malhotra and I'm absolutely elated to share this podcast with you. On this episode, I will be discussing everything about dreams. For thousands of years, humans have seen dreams as mystical or some kind of window into our deeper selves. When the lights go out, what interesting things happen in our brain and body? Do our dreams have any meaning or serve any purpose? Why exactly do we dream? Before we fall asleep, our brains are a mess of chattering neurons. And all that electrical activity creates chaotic electromagnetic waves. As we fall asleep and lose consciousness, the brain activity slows down dramatically. But then, just an hour and a half later, something very odd happens. The brain roars back to life, just like how we were when we were awake. But a tiny part of the brain stops us from actually moving around. Our bodies are temporarily paralyzed, except for our eyes. This is called rapid eye movement, often known as REM. In some cases, this part of the brain malfunctions, leading to pretty scary results, like how it did to a comedian named Mike Berbilia. He suffers from serious REM behavior disorder. It is a condition where he physically acts out his dreams. I go to bed at night, I sleep in a sleeping bag up to my neck and I wear mittens so I can't open the sleeping bag. How inconvenient is that? For most people, only the eyes act out their dreams. If you're maybe scanning a room in your dream, your eyes will go back and forth, back and forth. And if you're dreaming about climbing stairs, your eyes will go up, 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 up. In the ancient times, people believed that dreams were messages from gods. They were portents, they were warnings, they were instructions. They even created self-manuals to decipher their dreams. The meanings of dreams slowly changed over time, but the belief that dreams had meanings remained consistent for hundreds of years. But then, Later, in 1600s, the British philosopher John Locke called dreams incoherent and irrational. People began to come with conclusions that dream had to do with something people ate. However, the whole idea of dreams changed in 1800s, where two books were written. One by Santiago Ramon Yacajal, the father of modern neuroscience, and suggested that dreams were due to electrical impulses. But the other book, written by Sigmund Freud, claimed that dreams were much more. Dreams were images that were disguised representations of our innermost desires. Freud was supported by Carl Jung, who also believed dreams were messages from the subconscious. In 1933, German journalist Charlotte Berard began to secretly collect the dreams of her fellow citizens during the Holocaust. They were full of corpses and torture. Household items like ovens and lamps betrayed their owners to Nazis. The protective walls of houses vanished into thin air. Over the years, scientists collected dreams and noticed patterns. People were dreaming about what they were going through in their day-to-day life. It was also their utmost fear that came in the form of nightmares. We still can't resort to a single solution to justify our dreams. 
they are something that is still very peculiar to our knowledge. What do you think our dreams portray? Thank you so much for joining me on this endeavor and tuning in. This has been an interesting episode and I'm looking forward to the next one to discuss further on STEM fields. Make sure you share this pod with your friends if you enjoyed it. Stay tuned.